Hello everyone, let's look at this series here. We want to determine whether this series is convergent or divergent. And the easiest way to do this is to use the comparison test. Um, we have two choices. We can use the ordinary comparison test or we can use the limit comparison test. And so in this video, I'm going to use the ordinary comparison test to show that the series converges. Now, how do we know that it converges? Uh, first, we look at the form of this um, the series right here, we have an n square in the numerator and then an n to the fourth plus four in the denominator. So in this case, we if we ignore the four, then we are going to get um, a series of the form n square over n to the fourth. So let me write that down. So maybe we can try comparing it, right? So maybe compare. with n square over n to the fourth. And then we are ignoring the plus four right now. And then you can see that if we simplify this n square over n to the fourth, because n is non-zero, so that would be one over n square. Okay, so let's try comparing this series with that one. And now we already know that this is a P series. So if you just consider the series that we have with, um, with the summation. So let me actually just write down the summation here. So the series that we are actually looking at is starting from n equals one to infinity, and then we have one over n squared. So if we try to compare this series with this series here, we already know that this is a p series and it's convergent because the p value is greater than one. So let me write it down here. This is a p series. that is convergent because p is greater than 1. Okay, so all we need to do right now is to show that if this n square over n to the fourth plus 4 is less than this 1 over n square, then we can say that this series also converges because we have a larger series that converges, then our smaller series will also converge. So now how do we show? Let's start the problem. So first we are going to just, just consider this n square over n to the fourth plus four. And as we know, uh, our n value starts from one. So we are going to consider all the n values for this fraction. Um, that are greater than one, right? So all the n values are greater than or equal to one. Okay, so now let's think about how this series is compared to this one over um, this one over n square. How this expression is compared to the one over n square? Um, as you can see here, we have a plus four in the denominator. Now all we need to think about is to see what happens when we we move a positive four in from the denominator. Now when we we move that plus four from the denominator, what happened is that our denominator is going to become smaller. So if you compare with this one over n square here, so let me just put that here. So one over, or actually instead of writing the n square, let me just start with the n square over um, n to the fourth. So let's compare them right now. We can see that the numerators are the same, right? That we have both the numerators is n square. Now the denominator, which one is larger? Um, because we have n to the fourth plus four in the denominator of this fraction. So we'll see that this denominator is going to be larger. And when you have a larger de denominator for the fraction, but the numerator are the same, then the fraction with a smaller denominator will be bigger. And so we can say that this orange fraction right here, that this is this is bigger. So we can put down our um, inequality. So we can say that, okay, so that n square over n to the fourth is bigger than the n square over n to the fourth plus four. Okay, now this one actually can be simplified into one over n square. Okay, so now we know that one over n square, um, this fraction is going to be greater than this n square over n to the fourth plus four. And now we already know that this um, this p series, 
right, where p is equal to 2, it converges. And so this converges, right? <clears throat> The series converges, and then I already wrote the explanation right here. And so, <clears throat> what can we say about the smaller one? The smaller one will also converge uh, by the ordinary comparison test. Okay, so now we can write down our conclusion. So, the series. So in general, we can also use limit comparison tests to show that the series converges. And if we're using the limit comparison test, we actually don't need to establish this inequality. And in general, that may be easier, but I feel that this is more fun to establish because when you actually compare the fractions and you come up with something um, something that's greater or something that's smaller. Sometimes it doesn't work. There is a lot of challenges in doing this kind of problem. So I think it's more fun in general. So let me finish writing down the conclusion. So you say that this is um, a convergence series by the ordinary comparison test. Okay, so this problem is done. I am actually going to make another video on the same series, but I will show that it converges by using the limit comparison test. And then you can see that that way we do not really need to establish the inequality. All we need to do is to just come up with a series for you to compare. In this case, uh, for this problem, we are still going to use the same series for that limit comparison test. And then we can as well show that the series converges. Yeah. So playing with inequality in general is quite fun. So I will suggest you try more of the ordinary comparison test instead of the limit comparison test. Okay, so that's it for this problem. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give me some support. Thank you for your support and thank you for your watching. I will see you next time.